Record in an OBS, do a sync. Uh, up, down, down, up. I go up, down, I go down, up, down. I go down, go down. Down, 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 down. down, down. I'm going down, going down. I'm going down, going down. Going down, going down. I'm going to go up one day. I'm only SpongeBob. After all, don't put the blame on Pearl. Don't put the blame on Gary. I'm only human, SpongeBob. After all. Wait, am I, I just keep saving it. All yeah. Right. All right, back to the map. Now we're more backed up than ever. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm Pikachu. We did, we did it right. We did it correctly. Okay, I think you pressed A. I did, but I pressed Pikachu. Okay. I didn't know Player 2 could do that as well. Pika fucking shoe. Detective Pikachu 2, that game, was that like... Was there any speculation of that, or did that come out of nowhere? I think that was speculation. I don't know. But that was the first official announcement of it. Yeah, I, I think like every other like... People talking about it is just people fearing like, Ooh, what's going to be the next Pokemon thing at the like, at Pokemon Day? Maybe a sequel, maybe a new movie, blah blah blah. That sounds like that's me. But did you um? I've never done that in my life. Did you ever see the? Did you ever play the first one? No, I have no interest in it to be honest. I was yeah, because I, I wasn't sure how to feel about it. I was curious. I'm curious to hear someone who has an experience with it. I'm open to a different style of gameplay in the same world as the thing, but I guess Mystery Dungeon was kind of that. It's still like turn-based RPG, but I enjoyed Mystery Dungeon. It, it just doesn't. It it just doesn't feel like me. Yeah, I, I need a button. That's, oh wait. Oh. I need a button that says the Stewart game. No, I mean like, it, not for me. I'm not interested. And that's perfectly fine. It's old enough to get a sequel and. Yeah. I, I don't know why they decided to do a giant amiibo. Oh my god. No! <laughs> That's what I get for dis dissing the giant Detective Pikachu amiibo. Sometimes Zero Suits, uh... Oh my god. Why? It doesn't want to connect to the ledge. But here I am. Maybe I'm Earl. Because I'm only P. Patrick after all. You're only P. Patrick. We were um, watching um, AI SpongeBob the other night um, for like a while. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> and there was one where they were just talking about something really sketchy, but you couldn't really make it out because it was nonsense. But it kept cutting back to Squidward, like zooming into the crusty crap behind, with him behind the cash which was were saying, August 12, 2026, the heat death of the universe. <laughs> it kept doing it, just maybe, randomly. Maybe, maybe this is a sign. <laughs> like, it was, the timing was fucking hilarious you every know, time. Like, you know the Mayan calendars? Maybe this is the new Mayan calendar. <laughs> the heat death of the universe. <laughs> That's gotta be scary one day. Oh, yeah. No, the world's gonna end eventually. I just hope I'm not alive for it. I don't think I will be, but who knows? <laughs> Michael, I didn't bother pressing plus. Oh, it doesn't let you do it there in fights. Really? Yeah. Just tried it again. Will you stop doing that? Well, I didn't mean to. Just bad at the game. <laughs> You're a bad boy, Michael. You're a bad, 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 bad boy. I've heard that you've been a bad student of mine. You were grounded, 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 grounded for, for three million billion years. For triple eternity. I didn't know that was Samus, but alright. Yeah. Pikachu just freaks the fuck out and starts attacking it. Pikachu. More like... Pika Blue. He's so fucking sad all the time. That was the, uh... The speculation from Meryl when uh, Gen 2 was, you know, being shown off in America. That's sad, Pikachu. No, like, they're like, what is this character called Pika Blue? <laughs> because Meryl looked pretty similar to Pikachu. 
Is there a single Pokemon yet that can, like, its evolution depends on what fucking mood it's in? Uh, Sylveon. Yeah? Yeah, like, Max Happiness. So does Crobat. Like, Zubat, Goldbat. What if it was just, like, their mood at the moment of evolution? Like, they're normally happy, but they just had one bad day. That'd suck, right? See, it could be a metaphor on how a lot of people make mistakes in their life with permanent, uh, permanent damage. A famous person once told me that life's what you make it, so let's make it rock. Charles Martinet. Yeah, he said that word for word. <laughs> I just remember in his panel last year, not last year, two years ago. Yeah, like, the, the, their, their 2022's panel was, like, January. He gave, like, an uh, inspiring speech, and then, like, it kind of worked out for him. Like, a fucking curtain fell over. Do you remember that? Really? Yeah, and then, like, he was like, is everyone okay? What's going on? And he says, all right, I think everyone's fine. He fell He's, over and him, he was like, like he was a ghost. See? And then he says, see, like, it, it was, it didn't even fall on him, but it was like, see, sometimes you don't know what to expect out of life, so it kind of just played into his... Were you there for that? I might have been there at that moment, but I, I know he was... Uh, getting emotional at yeah. the end. Yeah, it was a very, like, just kind of having a chat kind of panel. No, like, Q&A or anything like that, just kind of shooting the shit about life. I remember this. This fucking sucks. I hate he, this level. He's like, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to answer questions. It was a very nice panel. Oh, my God. I, I hate... Samus has like one of the worst spot do or uh, dodge rolls ever. Like, get, get it? Ha! Ah, he's do she's doing the morph ball, but it's slow. It's bad. It's not good. It's horrible. Here I say it's the opposite of terrific. And terrific. In my head, that was gonna work as a <laughs> statement, but <laughs> it, it, really it goes didn't. against God's will. Goes against God's will. God has a plan for all of us. So we must follow his will. We must follow his direction. Let me tell you right now, oh, God does go not like that yellow rat. He fucking okay. hates him. There we go. God I... hates that yellow fucking rat. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get lasered by this raw blaster. But I'm gonna wait. I remember the days when Samus punched people in her games. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you think this is funny? Yeah. You're laughing. Oh, no. You're about to lose a stock for us, and you're laughing. <laughs> That's okay. I made it. I hate video games. <laughs> I think I found the best way to play this game. You're just gonna keep following me? <laughs> God, I hope I like fall off the ledge and you just die too. You're not getting It one. doesn't matter. What, what the... <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't pay attention you to the differences be. in our health. It's okay, we I'll made it to red legs. What if I'm still at 50? Ah! Uh, it's Ridley! Oh, Pikachu doesn't know what the fuck to do. For the love of my life. Ridley. You made it. I spent my entire summer in 2014 arguing on Smash boards and people in the comments section on videos about this character, and it was finally worth it in 2018. You see? It you was just... worth it in 2018, but you were wrong about fucking Wii U and 3DS. No denying but, that. But, it was worth it. I sure showed that guy back in 2014, a thing or two about life, and he sure feels stupid now. He's, like, been crying ever since. Life was never the same for him again. He started crying. I remember the arguments got, like, very personal. Two, it was, it was very weird. Yeah. A weird time to be alive. Even, they, like, not just these, Ridley, but, like, Smash Bros. speculation in general. Fandom debates can be like that in general. Like, I don't, I don't know. It, I, I, whenever I, like, fucking thou who shall not be named this month character community on Twitter, it's like they all, nobody, I don't know, it feels like, I, I remember, I, I don't think I said this in recording, remember I told you earlier that I feel like a lot of people just want to 
they want to have a special opinion, so they just intentionally contradict other people. That like they don't actually have much of an argument. I'm not saying that's everybody, but I'm saying that's a lot of people. Oh yeah. Um, they argue for the sake of argument. Um, I do feel like that's what a fair number of people do, but it's like um, fucking losing my train of thought. Uh, with the Sonic community, I especially fucking see that. I hope you blur that out. <laughs> um, just everybody argues all the fucking time. Pikmin 4 is coming soon, and Pikmin 1 and 2 is available on Switch now. Do you want to talk about the Direct a little bit? You mentioned one to talk We can talk about it a little bit. So we're going to date ourselves. Uh, this is in June, <laughs> and this is right after the Amazing Direct. Or I guess a day later, but uh, Pikmin 4 was shown, and it looks amazing. Yep. And then Pikmin 1 and 2 are also released, and that's... They're 30 bucks each, 50 in total. I'm, I want to get the, the duel just to save $10, and yeah. I get to finally beat Pikmin 2. Nice. I'm looking forward to playing Pikmin 1. Just... Do you have a preference? I'll be Ali. Okay. Ali Osborne. Ala. Orima. Captain Falcon. This is this is when Olimar was absolutely broken. He had six Pikmin instead of three, and then Project M gave him four because I realized that was too much. Olimar is an absolute menace to society <laughs> when it comes to competitive play for Brawl. Not as much as like Ice Climbers and Meta Knight, but my goodness. I wish one day that there's a new F-Zero game, just so we can just have variety, but... I bet they will, because it does seem like they like to bring old properties back, just only on special occasions, I guess. Like, you know, Kid Icarus got a new game after so long, and... Struggle. I mean, WarioWare came back, not just recently, like, there was one before that, but... He's even got a new game. Diddy Kong. Wow, this fuck it. If I shot you for peanut gun, it probably would kill you, actually. <laughs> what, what if Captain Falcon just, like, threw him? <laughs> he just threw Olimar on the ship. Rawr. That'd be unfortunate. What if Diddy Kong, like, found him as a threat? <laughs> what if the new Smash Bros. game only has, uh... Diddy Kong racing characters as all the newcomers? I mean, I'd accept it. I play a mean tiny tiger. That's Crash Bandicoot. Uh, who's the who's the Zipper? Dipper? Uh, he was supposed to be the main character. What was his name? Zipper? Uh, I don't think it was Zipper. What What was the one name? Of the character that went to they confirmed went to prison. Melman. I suppose so. Or was it the crocodile? No, the crocodile was like one of those Donkey Kong enemies. Oh, that, it was like a badger, I think. Yeah, the badger is the one a, a that went badger. to. Yeah, the badger is the one that went to prison, but I don't remember what he did. A felony. <laughs> Maybe it's best if we don't know what what this monstrosity did on society. They doubled down on it though, where like one of the developers said, "Oh yeah, no, he got out. He, he's out now. <laughs> he's changed. He found God." <laughs> but, like, they did try to make it canon that, yeah, he went to prison. I have a big question. What's up? So, your, your uh, Stupid Mario web show review is probably going to be out by now. Uh, but I gotta know. We'll see. Are you going to mention Link being a Mormon and leaving? Um, I might. I want an all in my trophy. <laughs> it just it cuts out right before you get smashed in the head. Glass breaks. Oh, Mars like lying down in the shot. Um, I guess we're done with Falco and Fox. <sighs> so tired. What if the ship like lost a uh, gas and like fell down and Diddy's just waving goodbye, but then he's like, "No, come back! <laughs> Help us!" For the love of fucking god. A lot of new team members. I hope that counted as 20% of the game. Yeah, it counted as more than I thought it would. Like four. That's fine. They the show peak. peak. We're gonna play as the ice climbers. 
Holy freaking shit, Lois. I guess you could count this as Meta Knight scouting, see what's up, but you can clearly see what's up. So he just wanted to take a detour yeah. or found all of them losers. Nice color's like, what the fuck is he doing on our tower? So this is the two of the most broken characters in Smash Bros. <laughs> Brawl. <laughs> How does Meta Knight hold up in the new one? Maeve, I may have talked about this in a previous episode, it's been a while. Uh, a shell of his former self. You mainly have to uh, rely on either ladders, as in, like, getting them upwards. I think that was Smash... No, I, I, I think in Smash Wii U, his combo was, like, getting you up ladders to do, like, these weird combos, and then like, this, the up B. But, like, he had a different up B. And then in Ultimate, I think it's just horizontal ladders. You don't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's more like uh, sending you to the side blast zone. But then again, I haven't seen much competitive Meta Knight play, so I don't, I don't know what the. Can I get? Can I please get on the ladder? Look at this. <laughs> do you see this? I do. Maybe a little bit. Uh, you're too big. <laughs> I think you were too was, old to go on the ladder. Too big to, to order off the kids' menu. That was a big running joke for the last one. That's probably definitely cut out now because I don't. I think we watched that after our first session. Yeah, that was that was awful, horrible. And like I never want to see it again. <laughs> Oddballs, you gave all of our money to the odd ones out uh, there. A few of that is uh, stuck with some of the recording, so I can't wait for people to see that and you know hate my guts. Not me, just my guts. <laughs> they're, they're like, Stuart's pancreas is available. I fucking hate his pancreas. <laughs> Plus, went back down with you. Wee! Chicken! Oh, don't worry. I love chickens, Eddie! I like chickens, Double D. Gravy. I remember the episode where... They're all pretending to be each other, and Double D just keeps saying gravy. And then Ed's even like, I don't know, I say more than just gravy, Double D. Like Double D's a fucking hack and doesn't know what he's doing. He did a shit job pretending to be his friend. Yeah, Ed later, like, played as Plank. Yeah. He's naked, that's right. Ice Climber is more like... Mice... Riders. Insert a Tumba 2 dude. Good job. <laughs> Good joke. Good joke. Thank you for naming all Thanks for the list of evil pigs. Evil pigs. To be fair in that part, he did fucking ask for it. He asked for examples. He gave examples. I was like, thanks for the list of evil pigs in video games. He was, he was being nice. He did thank him, though. I don't even blame him for being annoyed with that guy, but he doesn't seem like a pleasant person himself. <laughs> that was like 70 years ago. Yeah, well, it is old. Can you imagine like 100 years from now? That's his legacy. <laughs> it's just dumping <laughs> too. Yeah, he gets, he got like, I don't even think he's doing it anymore, but he would get really angry during streams if anyone brought it up. What if there was like a religion based off of Tumba 2? <laughs> that is one of my favorite recordings in history. <laughs> Uh -oh. It's so fucking funny. It is. <laughs> so awkward the whole time. You just keep hearing... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, because I think it's like every time you talk to someone in that game it plays that music. Yeah. It's kind of like a Sonic Unleashed when you do the battles. It has that like blaring trumpet. Oh yeah. Or was it a saxophone? Um, I think it's just a mix. It's like jazz music. I feel like if they, if they had like a different... like better variety. People might tolerate the, the Werehog combat a little bit more, but that's just me. And the last time I played that game was on the Wii, like, before I was in high school, I believe. So that was like 2011, maybe, when that game came out. 10, 9, 876. One of the years. I guess that's a good way to get him frozen. On this. What the fuck? That's also a good way to die. What do I do? You were playing the game wrong. So, 
I hope you learned a valuable lesson, Michael. Just play the game. Or just buy the game. That's the name of the song. It wasn't worth it anyway. What, what are you referring to? Scott, this fucking Scott the Waz musical number. I know it's your favorite thing in the world. Oh, I, I don't even know because I always skip the musics. No disrespect, I just don't care. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I, I like the songs. I think they're fairly catchy, but... I think they always do like a decent job with them. I remember the, the Borders episode when he, they were uh, singing to build a spaceship out of bargain bin Wii games, and he as soon as he went, Wii, I just <laughs> I hit the skip button like, I don't care. It was like right on key, too. I do think that was like the most forced one. It was like, oh, we gotta have a third song. But uh, to be fair, I mean, it's, it's for a montage, so I get it. It's them building a spaceship out of Wii games, which is kind of funny. It should have been like hardcore dubstep, though. <laughs> the uh, border. I'm on the border song. I like the composer a lot for that. Like I followed him on YouTube before he even started doing it. His one, he made the new theme for Scott the Waz, which sounds just like a fucking Sonic Runners track. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I sent that to you. I mean, I really like the track. It's just it sounds very similar to a pre-existing one. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go as far as to say like it's definitely like ripping it off, but it they do sound very similar. But I I don't feel comfortable. I don't I don't know enough about music to say what's a rip off and what's just like a pretty common th theme because a lot of music does sound similar. It doesn't necessarily mean it's ripping someone else off. I guess it kind of just depends on when you listen to the whole thing and if it's just like it keeps going in the same direction as another track. Did you ever hear that like one song from the 60s that sounds like the Super Mario World music? Yeah, uh, I don't remember what it's called, but it existed. It's Green Greens. I think, I think the song is just called Green Greens. Condo shakes fist in the air. But there's a good, there's a rational story behind the whole thing, and it's really only a couple of notes that sound exactly the same near the beginning. Then it goes in a different direction. So I do need that fucking energy drink now. Yeah, it's all good. We got just one to more stay, battle. Just to stay alive for this. Yeah, we'll do this. Well, we can go a little bit more because like it hasn't been 30 minutes yet, has it? It exists, we're here. I mean, we could start and stop right Dude, can you not grab anybody? Or maybe it's just the ice. Alright, I'm sacrificing myself. Alright, we're getting there. Yeah. Uh, I, me I mentioned it in the previous recording, but the, the voice actor for Lucario is the same one who voiced Goku. What? I think his name is Sean Schimmel. Sean. Sean Kimmel makes one of them. And in the the following games, it, I'm not a fan. To going from this. Or a going. I can't, how, how do I do it? Going from this. Very cringe, I'm sorry. To going from this. It, it's kind of off putting. <laughs> We're friends. It's like that Tamadachi life cutscene where the two are fighting and you're going to see if they get along again or not. They get married instead. Yeah. They have a dysfunctional looking baby where... You ever see the fucking babies in Tamadachi life? I've never seen a baby before in my life. <laughs> the fucking cry that they have in Tamadachi life sounds like you're actually stabbing the infant. Like they just picked the most aggressive fucking scream they possibly could for that game. That's not good. I like it. I listen to it like as like a three hour compilation of the baby screaming as like music while I exercise. I once listened to 30 minutes of like a, a, a 10 hour video of a uh, plankton saying and dignity with uh, the back the background had Karen pointing to him saying Sheldon and then his family was laughing at him. Then he turned around and Sheldon was gone. But then he turned back around and said and dignity followed by Karen pointing out <laughs> Sheldon. Again. I want to be Mario. Oh, fuck. Wait, I can't be Mario. Okay. 
I, I, I think like I, I'm the least good with Pit. I don't know who I'm the least good or best with here. Probably Kirby I'm best with. Out of these five, I'm just not picking Pit. I've just come to that conclusion. I will not pick Pit, you cannot make me. Pit it's so has no wit. Oh my god, no, come on. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, Pit and Dark Pit in Smash Ultimate are considered like one of the most honest characters. Meaning like they don't have any uh, like stupid gimmicks or weird jank to them. Mm -hmm. But nobody, like barely, barely anybody picks them competitively. They're not like low on the tier list. I think, I don't know where exactly they are, but it's to a point where people just don't care. I think I'm the only human in existence that still like goes for amiibos. I feel like everybody- Probably not, they're still selling them, right? I feel like, yeah. I feel like everybody who bought the, the new Link Amiibo at the time, uh, they just bought it just so I could buy it later at a scalping <laughs> price. Yeah. Did you buy it at a scalping price? No. That's why I'm just gonna wait. Oh my god. You you can't get out, you're in a free fall. I'm so glad that was like fixed in the later games. That is awful. Daisy from Super Mario Strikers, her in, only game. In real life. That's the only game she's ever been in. Yep. Battleship. Alright. Alrighty. I think we're getting fucking close <sighs> to the one place again. Um The Great Maze. Still we're at 34%. There's like somewhere where the percentage just starts to speed up like excessively. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> right, we got that in there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You know when the Jimmy Neutron like beach party thing 